You like badly lit videos? Awesome, because that's what you're getting. <laughs> One thing exciting in my world, which has no relevance to any of the rest of you, is that Canada will be having a federal election, which is the equivalent of a national election for you guys, I guess. And since I'm sure none of you guys know anything about Canadian politics, since most Canadians don't even know anything about Canadian politics, I'm going to give you a little Canadian politics 101. The way elections work here is there are two levels of elections. There are provincial elections and federal elections. Our provinces, like your states, we have a bunch of them. Um, and during a provincial election, you're going to vote for who you want to be the prime minister of your province. During a federal election, you're voting for who you want to be the prime minister of the entire country. Now, the big difference is when you guys vote nationally, you're voting for the president. We don't get that. We don't vote for the actual person on top. We vote for the representative of that party in our area or our riding. So in my case, um, I'm voting in the riding of Mount Royal, which is a certain area of Montreal. Around here, there are four major parties. One is the Liberal Party, led by Michael Ignatieff, as if that means anything to you. The Liberal Party is the Liberal Party. They have, they have a certain stance. If you want to look that up, you'll look that up. Right now, they are not in power. They're actually pretty low on the poll, although they have won elections in the past. Number two is the Conservative Party. They are the party that's in power right now, but they have a minority government, led by Stephen Harper, um, and they're right now the leading government, although that could change with the next election. What a minority government means is that they did win the election, they got the most percentage of votes, but they have less than 50% of the votes. The next party is the NDP, or the New Democratic Party, led by Jack Layton. Um, they've been called communists in the past, although I'm pretty sure they're not, they're just socialists. And the last party is called the Bloc Québécois. What their stance is basically is that Quebec should separate from the rest of Canada, and I have a feeling they're not going to win again this time. That's just me. So the way it actually works, since we don't vote for our top dog, our prime minister, um, what we do is we vote for the MP or the member of parliament in our riding. So uh, each person in your riding or whoever decides to vote will go out and vote. And let's say, for example, the NDP will win in a riding. In my riding, it will never happen. The Liberals have won every year forever. But let's say the NDP would win. The NDP candidate, a guy by the name of Jeff Itkush, would be going to be part of parliament, which is kind of the equivalent of your guys' Senate, I guess. And he would join parliament, and that would make up one seat. There are there is a seat for every single riding in Canada. The um, group that gets the most seats, their, their representative will become prime minister. Very different from your electoral college system and very different from your voting system and political system in general, but that's how we do it here. Now the real question you should be asking yourself is, why does a 17-year-old kid like me, who's not even legal to vote, care about a federal election? Well, the answer is, first of all, I'll be 18 in two weeks, so I will be able to vote. And second of all, I'm a politically minded kind of guy, and the guy I mentioned who's running for the NDP party in my riding, Jeff Itkush, happens to be an old teacher and a friend of mine. So um, I'm, I've been going to a couple of the NDP events. I have another one, the campaign launched this week. So I guess I'm kind of vested in this federal election. And if not vested in it, I'm just, I'm just generally interested. I kind of like politics. Sue me. So if you haven't pieced it together yet, the guy I'm friends with is running for the party people call socialist and communist. Does that make me a socialist and communist? I don't know. I would say no, because the way it works here is you're not voting for the whole party. You're voting for the member in your riding. And the member in my riding happens to be neither a communist or really a socialist. So I don't think I am. I'm voting for a single guy, not really for the big picture. So that is your Canadian federal politics 101. Uh, let me know what you think of our system if you care. If you don't, you probably ignored me and stopped watching a while ago, so good on you. And um, that's all I got. Gabby, I'll see you on Friday.